What's at stake for me? What's at stake for me? For those of you who don't know, CBC stands for Congressional Black Caucus. What it means to me is there's a bunch of legislators and people who make decisions in the black community. They're bringing the table and the issues right here to Washington, D.C. Here you get to see, hear firsthand what goes on in our community and help be a part of the decision making. Come along. What's at Stake is still live here at CBC. And next up, we have the Black Voices in the Media panel. I'm very excited about this panel because we have Mark Lamont Hill and Jamila Lemieux as some of the uh, panelists. So uh, let's come inside and see what's going on. Hopeful that people will continue to organize. When I think about the digital space, like it brings people together differently. So I'm hopeful that all those people who formed communities last August, like they will slowly translate that into something that like, changes systems and structures, like I believe that there's power there. The best thing that we could do for millennials is give them exposure to the same things that other kids with resources have exposure to. We can't get folks excited about things they never get to see. And oftentimes this next generation looks at us and understands that the fundamental problem sometimes isn't just institutional power, sometimes it's not just white supremacy, sometimes it's just y'all scared of white people. Sometimes we just scared of white people. And until we come to terms with that, we're gonna have a whole lot of problems. And so long as we have allowed black men, particularly straight black men, to be at the center of what we consider to be black struggle and black oppression, we have not been able to liberate ourselves. So at this moment, we are liberating ourselves by saying every black person needs to be free. Whether you cool with who someone sleeps with, or where they came from, what they look like or not, are they black like you? then you should want for them to be free as you are, as free as you want to be. So we should get to the point where no matter what it takes, if we have to put our houses up, that we're going to be, um, um, that we want to be educated and we'll go through whatever it takes in, in order to be free because knowledge is free. So in saying that, nothing in this world is free and free is too expensive in my, in my personal opinion. But, you know, if we're going to ask that of these children, then we have to make sure that we're giving them right now. Uh, the most important thing is what the theme is this time, which is liberty and justice for all as a question. And I think that it's forcing us to deal with and wrestle with the real challenges that we are facing, um, whether it's uh, white supremacy, as Mark talked about on the panel, um, institutionalized racism, as we talked about all day, the challenges with police and police reform, criminal justice reform, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, we have a lot to wrestle with, and I think so many of the panels are touching on these things, but I'm eager to see the solutions, so I hope we get there soon. So we just got out of the Black Voices in the Media panel and it was amazing. David Banner has some powerful words for us. CBC has been amazing and I had a lot of takeaways from it. One thing that really touched my heart was finishing the job. You know, as African Americans, a lot of times we start stuff on social media via hashtags and different trends, but what we have to do is complete the job. You know, we can't let these people's names die. We have to keep fighting and keep fighting. Uh, West Stake has had a great time here. Uh, it's definitely been fun. My name is Corey Arringer. I'm a West Stake ambassador, and we will see you next year at CBC. What's at stake for me? 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 What's at stake for me?